Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this advanced PowerPoint tutorial series, you will learn how to create concentric circles in 3D. The concentric circles you will learn to create look like this. This particular diagram can be used to talk about sub-segments of a larger entity. For example, if I were to say that this one, the larger ring represents online retail marketers, the blue ring could represent online jewelers, the people who sell jewels on the internet. And the one in the tan color could represent those who sell wedding rings on the net, on the internet. So whenever you want to convey concepts of sub-segments of a larger entity, this could be a very useful diagram to create. This diagram also helps us understand some concepts in 3D which will help you improve your PowerPoint skills. Let us create this diagram from scratch. Let us go to a new slide. The tool that I'm going to use to create the concentric circles is under basic shapes and the tool is called as donut tool. So I'm going to pick that tool up and while holding the shift tab, let us draw a donut. To reduce the width of the donut, all you need to do is to push this yellow handle towards the edge and that reduces the width of the donut. We are going to make a couple of uh, copies of this donut and increase their size so that they all form uh, as concentric circles. Let us um, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now this one, I want to increase the size. I'm going I'm going to hold shift tab and let me increase the size here and if I were to put this on top of this one yeah this looks okay maybe I don't want something as big as this so I'm going to reduce the size here okay this looks decent enough now I'm going to make another copy here so Control C Control V and maybe we can increase the size of this one to a little larger one than that maybe a bit more would help now let us put all of them, align all of them properly. So I'm going to use arrange, align, align center, arrange, align, align middle. Now I know that this circle is overlapping on the second circle and the width of this is also slightly larger than what I would want. So I'm going to reduce the width here by pushing the yellow handle slightly towards the left. And I'll do the same thing for the second one as well and I can reduce the size of the second circle. We want to do a bit of adjustment so that we ensure that we get the right set of circles to work with in the first place. Let us um, align them for center and middle. These are the shortcut tools that I have put in my um, quick access toolbar. Now we got the concentric circles. The next step is to select them all and press Ctrl G. This groups all three concentric circles. Let us try and give a 3D angle to this. So I'm going to right click on this one. Let me go to format shape and this dialog box, this task pane opens up. Let me go to effects. These pop up as a separate menu when you use 2010 or 2007 version of PowerPoint and let me go to 3D rotation and in 3D rotation the preset that I'm going to use is under parallel and it is called as off axis one top. Now we have the concentric circles lying flat on their belly. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to add a bit of depth to these uh, circles. So let me go to 3D format and increase the depth to say 25. This looks like concentric circles diagram. However, I want to show the circles in different uh, heights so that your any any um, audience can easily understand that there are three concentric circles. So I'm going to increase the distance from the ground of the central circle first. So I'm, I have selected the central one. All you need to do is to click a couple of times till the time you select the right um, object. And once done, go back to 
this option called effects and go to 3D rotation and in 3D rotation you will have this option called distance from ground. I am going to use say 50 as the height from ground. Let me select the second one, second object and I am going to increase the distance from ground, ground by say 25. Now you can see that these three circles are clearly visible as three separate entities. You can either have them lying on the ground like this one or you can choose a different uh, preset for 3D rotation. Say if I were to use something like um, this one, you can see that they are standing vertical, standing perpendicularly. You can play with the angle here pressing this Y rotation, the one on the left, actually makes them fall on the ground and if you want to face them the other way, you can press this one. You can choose different colors for different objects. So, you can choose say green for this one. We can choose um, maybe uh, the teal color, the aqua color and for this one, let me choose say this blue. For all of them, we can choose no outline and if you want to add a bit of lighting and material, you can go to material and use this special effect called dark edge and this is the diagram that we want to create. Of course, you can always mark them for text by, by drawing a line from here. For example, I can always put a line and write my text about the outer layer and the next one and the next one. The completed diagram looks like this. Here what I have done is I have used a bevel. The bevel that I used for this one is um, the first one called a circle. You can play with different types of bevels and see what kind of effect you like. So that is how you create concentric circles in PowerPoint. Let me show you some variations of concentric circles taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. This one shows three layers of concentric circles. And this one shows one, two, three and four points converging towards the goal. These are the various influencing factors towards um, the achievement of goal. If you want to use concentric circles purely as a graphic, you can use it like this, which talks about the impact of technology and the kind of ripple effect it is creating. So there are many ways to use concentric circles. Once you learn the basic technique, you can create your own variations. If you don't have the time to create all those professional looking graphics yourself, then you can always uh, check out our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. You just choose the template that matches your thought, replace sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. It is the fastest way to make good quality professional business slides. Hope you liked our tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.